Happy December 2nd, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. It is Mythic Monday, and I'm thinking uh, this event from last Friday, where uh, we were touring the town, and Ivy came across, let's see, a child playing on the docks. You watch as a young child is playing with a ball on the dock. The ball rolls off and falls into the water, and the child jumps off after it. Quickly becomes apparent that the child is unable to swim, and then Ivy was successful and saved the child. I think that's going to mirror uh, Ivy's event with her sister. So, um, we're looking at a fulfillment opportunity that uh, is very likely. The question is, does does she grow from this epiphany? I think it's very likely that she grows on this case. So we're looking at this row here. Very likely. We're going to roll our percentile dice. There they are. And we get a 60. Very likely 60. That is a yes. She does grow. It's not an exceptional yes. So on a yes, we go up by one. So Ivy's fulfillment value for her personal emotional quest goes from 9 to 10 of 12, I think, we decided. Okay. And now we need to interpret what this means. <clears throat> I think this is another scenario where Ivy acts in the moment and only later realizes how similar it was to that day with her sister and uh in this case quite a bit of the time passes maybe before she realizes she hasn't been thinking about her past and when it finally does strike her how similar the day's events were i think uh she surprises herself with how calm she is about it she's beginning to be able to separate her feelings about the crises and her feelings about herself she knows she'll never be able to forget and she doesn't want to forgive herself but she's starting to move forward i think well it's december folks and ivy's got only four more chances at most to fulfill this personal emotional quest will she make it only time and the dice will tell when last we played ivy did such a good job of convincing the captain of timber landing of the impending insect attack the calendar told us we get a plus four to all rolls today that's what that marker is supposed to remind me of we'll see if it does <laughs> and that is where we left things so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today captain race says if you are so bent on preparing us for battle take a look at our job board we are so overwhelmed with work you can find various tasks for anyone to pick up and take on Helping us out on any of these can increase our efficiency with security. Okay, water quality analyst wanted. <laughs> Maintenance and repairs crew. Uh, hydrologist for water flow analysis. <laughs> sure, sure. We need a volunteer <laughs> hydrologist, please, who's an expert in water flow. Uh, and then uh, reservoir cleanup crew. All right, well, let's... We got a busy day ahead of us. Let's get going. Water quality analyst wanted. Roll D20 plus intellect. Reminder student. We get a 17 plus 4. Our bonus is 21. That's going to be the best result. You are tasked with a critical responsibility. Ensuring the purity of the local water supply. This involves testing and analyzing water samples for contaminants. Helping safeguard the community's health and well-being. And now the best result here, your meticulous analysis identifies not just the regular contaminants, but also a rare pollutant that could have caused severe health issues in the long run. You are hailed as a hero for preventing a potential health crisis. You are paid three amber for your work. Okay, up to 17... All right, job number two, maintenance and repair crew. Roll D20 plus strength. Ivy gets 16 plus 4 is 20, plus all of her other bonuses. That's going to be the best result again. The dam of vital structure in Renwood. 
It requires constant monitoring for any wear and tear. Your role is to investigate and ensure its stability, keeping the communities downstream safe. And now the best result. Your keen eye detects even the minutest vulnerabilities. Your ability to handle physically demanding tasks and expertise in maintaining the dam's integrity makes you a valuable crew asset. The dam remains in excellent condition. Under your watchful eye, you are paid four amber for your work. This is about it. <laughs> the best these uh, these job boards have ever gone for us. I, I probably shouldn't have spoke too soon. Because here we are, hydrologist for water flow analysis. Sure, why not? D20 wisdom plus student. Oh boy. I flubbed it. Let's try that again. 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 2 is 15. That's the middle result. Um, right? 9 plus 4 is 13, 15. If we can get one more point, we get the best result. I don't know how much. I don't know how much we care. I think we'll just take the middle result and save all of our. Well, do we have? Uh, I'm looking at my spreadsheet here. We have Tank who can help us. Let's give Tank a shot. We just need one point. I'm going to use my marker to help me remember. I just need one point. And if Tank comes through, we'll get the best result. So. Oh, and. Uh, I just remembered. Believe it or not. I can't believe I remembered. I have this big uh, reminder. We have a Vanguard ability, which means we can draw two cards and take the best one. So... Or we can draw again if we need to. Where's Tank? Tank needs a spade greater than or equal to four. So here we go. Spade greater than or equal to four. That's not it. And our second try. Hey, we got it. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, that is the that gives us the best result. Tank comes through. And what do we wind up with here? Uh, you are tasked with analyzing water flow patterns, monitoring the river's behavior, and optimizing the dam's operations to manage water resources effectively. And now the best result, you optimize the water flow for maximum efficiency and identify areas of potential energy harvest, leading to increased efficiency. You are paid three amber. Okay. 24 amber. And last... But not least, Reservoir Cleanup Crew. Roll D20 plus Constitution. 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 2 Constitution is 15. We need one more point again. Can we do it? Who Do we have anybody who can help us with Constitution? Yes, Lily. Okay. Lily needs... There's Lily. Lily needs, uh, again, a club or a spade greater than or equal to four. So here we go. First card, not a club or a spade. Second card, not a club or a spade. So um, what else do we have? Constitution. We have a stout seed, but I'm going to hang on to that for something more critical. Uh, let's see. So we're going to get the middle result here. Participate in regular cleanup efforts to keep the reservoir and surrounding areas pristine. As part of the cleanup crew, you'll brave the elements and occasionally face physically challenging situations to ensure the beauty and safety of Renwood's water source. Middle result says your efforts are commendable. You clear a significant portion of the reservoir ensuring cleaner water for the inhabitants. You end the day tired but satisfied, having done your part for the community. You discover two amber in the muck you clean up. <laughs> okay. This is a little lot. This is a busy day. Are we sure we were allowed to do all four of these things? There's the... Helping, helping us out on any of these can increase our efficiency with security. I, I think we're allowed to do all of them. Well, we have in the past, and that, my friends, is December 2nd, so we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.